A new, oh, new mic setup. Hopefully this works. <laughs> I was trying to pin this here. Uh, that doesn't work, so we're going to go uh, Sam Sulik style. If you don't know who Sam Sulik is, you're not into weightlifting and such, kind of like I am. I don't know where to put it, like side of hat. But he always <sighs> does this, except for he's got big hair and he's a huge dude. It's just a kid. It's like 22 years old or something, college. Just If you haven't heard of Sam Sulik, check him out anyway. All right, let's get to the video. What is going on, everyone? And welcome to Cart 6T3. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for stopping by. Real quick before we get into this, first things first, before I say that, my son and his girlfriend are in the other room. I'm properly embarrassing them because I'm doing a video in here where they're within earshot. So, you know, it's it's super cringeworthy to hear your dad do YouTube videos, just to let you know. Uh, if you didn't mind hitting a like on the video, possibly subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. Uh, gonna take a break from your request for videos for an idea that I had also to test out a mic. I'm gonna be very upset. If I record this entire video and the microphone doesn't work properly, but we're going to, I guess we'll find that out together whether or not it suits my voice or not. Uh, brand loyalty. Uh, I'm curious if it's uh, a good thing or a bad thing or kind of, you know, it's, it's really, I don't know. Okay, so uh, brand loyalty, what am I talking about? You start to use a product and that is the product you continue to use regardless of, say, performance. Basically, do you chase the new new, the, the brand new thing, the brand new, whoever got onto whatever chassis, whoever's running whatever prep, do you get on that bandwagon of chasing that speed or do you remain on what you know for the the betterment of yourself or is it is there something new out there to explain so uh we'll we'll go with chassis to start with uh as you guys know i've uh mentioned a bunch of times you can see in my videos i ride phantom i have rode phantom for the past six or seven seasons something along that dabble a little, little ultra max being on uas you know two of the Two of the bigger brands that do really well in UAS racing. It's not that we're locked into it. There's a lot of other chassis that, that do well in UAS, but primarily you can find quite a few either Phantom guys or Ultramax guys. I happen to be on Phantom. I have had a lot of wins on a Phantom since I got on them in 2017. Uh, by The Recon, by far one of my favorite chassis of all time, but... I've been on a whole bunch of other chassis leading to that point. So, not that I have the money to do so, but would that stop me from trying a different brand of chassis this year? Say I'm going to the clone, and I've seen other chassis handle really well with the clones. Would that stop me from changing out brands? No. I, I you know, I love Phantom. I, I, and I think there's so much speed in the recon, whether it's UAS to clone racing, but I'm the type of personality or, or type of person that I will stay on something that I absolutely love. Phantom, I, I still use TrackTac to this day. I've used them since 2006, something like that. I will, I will continue to use it as long as it's suiting me, suiting my fancy, is, is, is it's working, I understand it and all that stuff. But I also see the positives in maybe getting out of your comfort zone, maybe finding something else. Like, for instance, when I ran Clone, I ran with the Pisa's uh, Motor Works. They allowed me to run in, in their, in their, on their team there for that day. Now, I was on a Phantom Scythe, which I'm very comfortable with, and that performed really, really well. But I noticed that both Kyle and his sister Kelsey were on Kinetics. Uh, it wasn't the latest one. Uh, Exodus, maybe? Extremely fast. Both of them extremely fast. So, you know, say it, w the opportunity would come to me this year to get on something like a Kinetic. Would I do it? Absolutely. Am I chasing the new new in order to find speed? No, because I, I think it's, you can find speed in whatever you're on 
given the experience you're or set up or anything, but there there's a difference to them. They handle, you know, chassis in particular handle different and much like the clone, I'd be willing to experiment beyond, you know, what I ride. Now, is that going to happen? Probably not. Uh, this year coming into clone, I'm more than likely, uh, it's sounding like I'm going to be on MotorWorks uh, clones and uh, I'm going to be riding my 2017 recon. Uh, I'm going to have to, you know, I'll bring maybe I'll bring you along for a ride, put bearings, put, make sure everything's fresh and make sure everything's good to go on that recon. But chances are I'm going to be on a slightly older recon, but it's because I understand it and also because I don't have money to be going out and buying brand new chassis. But it just, this idea kind of came to me when, you know, the, the new se the new season's going to be coming up. You know, where it's almost uh, New Year's. By the way, Happy New Year. This will uh, be New Year's Eve when this video drops. Um, happy New Year's to you. You know, hopefully in four months for us, you know, Northerners, when April comes around, everybody's, you know, got a, a plan, you know, set up <laughs> to go racing. Part of my plan is not to get a new chassis this year. Part of my plan is to put what I put a, a, a new engine package on what I know. Now, am I like this video is about? Am I beyond, you know, putting it on a different chassis? I don't, I don't know. Absolutely. I don't know any better. You know, once, <laughs> once I hop on that, it's going to be a new power plant, a new way of driving, a, a new setup, a new, you know, tires, everything new. You know, possibly Reapers. We have all, all these things that are going to be diced up in the air. So even though I absolutely love Phantom and would buy a brand new Phantom Recon if I had the available means to do so, would it stop me from trying a Kinetic, from trying a trip, Trick Olympic? Would it stop me from trying a U-Max, you know, because this is something new? Or even if I was running UAS, would it try stop me from doing it? No, it wouldn't. And I think... There's something to be said for don't be that guy that chases a new new. Oh, if you're not on the the brand new premiere, then you're out to lunch. The guys on premieres are there because they are really good with setups. They're really good with tires. The the you know the higher ups, the the people who are fast are fast for a reason because they understand carts. They know what they know tires. They know how to drive. All these things. They're a, able to apply it to whatever chassis brand, whatever tire brand, the fast guys will be fast. Uh, so don't get caught up in new is the, you know, I, I got to have that new, new, I got to have that new, new, because unless you take the time with your older stuff to understand exactly what that needs, what your driver needs, what your tires need, what your setup needs, those problems will follow you to a new chassis. You know, a new chassis may come off going faster perceivably but those if you if you don't understand the concepts in which you know what are ailing you that those problems are going to follow you to the new new so I, I just wanted to put it out there brand loyalty i i think it's a really good thing because you can learn something and stick with it and know exactly what you when i use track tech products it's not that i'm i'm against any other prop. You know, uh, somebody was in the comments uh, earlier that I answered, or maybe I just liked it. I don't think I... But he suggested a, a tire prop. You know, you want to go fast, be on this tire prop. P possibly. Uh, it's very well possible. The only problem is is that I've been on track tax since 2006, and I know what the preps do. So when I'm going to AMS, when I'm going to Champion, when I'm going down to PA, when I'm running all these races... I know what type of surface might like what prep better. It's not that, you know, the, the, the Andy Murray's or the, the Pink Magic's or the anything like that are bad preps. I just don't understand what it's going to take to make those tires faster being it's a new prep. I know what track tech's going to do. I know it's going to lock down a card. I know, you know, too much, what, how much too too much is going to soften my tires, things like that. I don't know those about new preps. So I'm leaning towards not changing, but am I stifling, you know, progress? I, I'm i not against changing, but I think I'm talking now to both sides of my mouth here. <laughs> I'm telling you not to change a new new, but I'm also telling you sometimes change it up. 
Maybe, maybe you are in a funk. Maybe you are, you know, just way too comfortable with what you've got. And maybe you need to break that mold if you have the means to do so, whether it be tires or, or chassis or prop or whatever it is. So I thought this would be a really cool uh, video here. One second. We're going to pause station identification. This is brought to you by Adidas Water Bottles. <laughs> Sometimes I talk too much. I get a really dry throat. Anyway, <laughs> I, I thought this would be, you know, kind of a, I don't do clickbaity videos. It's just not my forte. I, I don't, I don't particularly put out videos in order to get a response. I just do videos on topics you want to talk about, that I want to talk about, that I thought would sound interesting. And I thought this, this topic would sound interesting. So we're starting off the new year with just some more Ben. That's uh that's what we're doing, and I'm free I'm free to move my hands because of the new mic. So there's the there's the new new uh, for this year, and hopefully the sound comes out okay. I'm I'm trusting your road uh, road mics is uh, what these are, and I'm trusting that you're going to do a good job and bring my voice to the people properly, or I'm going to end up recording this video all over again. At, after some more testing. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I really appreciate every single one of you coming by. Oh, and uh, this is my brother-in-law's. He's not a sponsor or anything, but if you've never had real maple syrup, oh, dude, I know I'm from the Northeast. I know that every year we, we get the go that we call the, the Pancake House. It's the uh, Cartwright's Maple Tree Inn. Real maple syrup. So good. I, I'm sorry if you got to, you know, have that Aunt Jemima crap on your waffles or your French toast or whatever, because get some real maple syrup. Us us Northerners are just, that's so good. All right. <laughs> and, and, and get some at Cosmano uh, Farms. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. That's enough goofing around. All right. I will, uh, I hope you have a great, great New Year's. Um, and I hope that everybody's working hard to their new goals for this year, racing carts, having fun, being with family, doing everything you want to do, uh, out at the track and, uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right. Later.